Hi everyone, it's the Solar Power World team. Hey. Um, doing our little March update. Um, oh, was it March already? It's March. Wow. We're really it's excited. March. In Cleveland, I'm wearing short sleeves because it's actually warm, so getting ready for summer. Yeah. <laughs> So first, we want to tell you a little bit about our issue we're working on now. Really? Yeah, so it's the installation issue. We're wrapping up March. Um, it's a lot of the contributions that we received this time are actual installation practice tips from people that are going to be presenting at the NABSEP Continuing Education Conference, um, which is coming up in, I believe, 10 days, 11 days, March 25th. I can't do math, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, um, everyone that's attending, uh, please have a good time. Uh, we won't be there, but we'll be there in spirit, and we'll have the tips that you guys can check out once our issue is out. Mm -hmm. For okay. sure. Um, I had the opportunity to go to a really cool conference last week. It was IREX Vision Summit, and um, there were a lot of thought leaders from across all renewable energy industries in the room talking about how important it is to make deliberate efforts to involve underserved communities in the clean energy revolution. They also talked about um, how 100% clean energy mandates are a great idea, but are really hard to actually accomplish. And we're seeing that play out in different states um, and cities right now. So hopefully more progress is made on that. How many like people were at the show? Was it a big um, It was crowd? The room was full. It was around probably 100 people. That's pretty good for a first time show. Yeah, it was great. Speaking of shows, um, I'm sure a lot of you heard the news that InterSolar North America, it's usually held in San Francisco in July, it's canceled for this year, and they're moving the show to San Diego in February. So we're really sad. Um, Kelsey and I were planning to go to InterSolar this year, and we won't get to see the Solar Battle of the Bands this year, <laughs> get a cool new t-shirt, um, but we're excited to kind of get to check out a new area in February, San Diego. It'll hopefully be warmer <laughs> than yes. San Francisco. So um, that's kind of fun to plan for, but unfortunate that we won't get to see people over the summer, but we'll be at SPI in September. Yep. What else we got? Oh, top contractors. Again, um, the top contractors application, we are in full swing right now. Um, please keep uh, applying if you are a US solar installer. Um, the application deadline is May 24th. So we still got about you know two months to go, but if you guys have any questions, please reach out to us. Everything can be found on our website, solarpowerworldonline.com. That's true. And then also some exciting news. Um, Solar Power World uh, is in the running for two ASB Awards, which is our business publication um, trade, pub trade organization. So we'll find out if our podcast on installing solar last year in Berkeley, California, won uh, gold, silver, bronze, and then Kelly's recycling story on solar panel recycling. We'll see um, how that places too. Yeah, so we were nominated for both of those awards regionally in the Cleveland uh, Midwest area, but then also the podcast that we worked on is up for a national award. So in how many? In a few weeks, we'll find yeah. out. So we're very, very excited to get some new awards. Yeah, <laughs> we'll keep you posted on what we get. All right. So that's our March update. Um, yeah. Hope everyone's doing well and getting some good solar business. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see you next month, and we can talk a little bit more about um, what came out in our March issue and our plans for the summer. Thanks for listening. Yeah, bye-bye.